Hi, I'm Dr. Mukesh Gupta from Lenest Malad. When a woman gets pregnant, one of the worries that they have is that doctor, is my baby going to be genetically fine or not? With the improving development in IT and healthcare and the latest development in the world of genetics, we now realize that more and more disorders and more and more problems can be picked up during the journey of pregnancy even before the baby is born. This is called as prenatal diagnosis. When we talk about prenatal diagnosis, one of the most common disease or disorder which has been studied and evaluated and been screened regularly is the Down's syndrome. Way back in 1866, around 150 years back more than that, Robert Langdon Down first talked about this syndrome or abnormality. What is Down syndrome? We call it trisomy 21. When we talk about this word trisomy, what does it mean? Normally there are two sets of chromosomes, one coming from the father, one coming from the mother. But unfortunately, if any of those chromosomes have an abnormality at the time of you know, fertilization and the further changes, it leads to a numerical abnormality which we call as aneuploidy. And this numerical anoply and uh, a change which is called as trisomy 21 is nothing but Down syndrome. Now there are many more such problems like trisomy 18, 13, etc. But let's focus on Down syndrome for a moment. Down syndrome is a disease where the babies sometimes who come unfortunately are suffering from various different sets of disorders. Most of them have problems and issues in their neurological or uh, you know, uh, uh, physical development. Uh, the facial features you must have noticed in many times of these babies are you know oval face with an apicantic fold with a high set you know low set ears and the uh, different type of eyes etc. Their mouth is small and tongue is large. Normally a very happy baby although, but still you find it unfortunate to go through the whole process if you are not mentally prepared for such kind of situation. Can we do something about it? Can we detect it in advance? Do we have a choice? Yes. There are investigations that can be done. When you're going through a fertility treatment, there's something called as pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, which can be thought about. But more importantly, during the course of pregnancy, where most of them go through these screening tests, is the first trimester screening and the second trimester screening. Let me give a little more update about this. So when you want to try to find out Doctor, do I have a risk of baby with Down syndrome? What are the investigations that can be done for it? And how will I come to know? And when is it done? Let me explain you to this. I explain you all this. When a woman gets pregnant, as early as say around 10 weeks, they can undergo investigations for finding out whether they are at higher risk than the rest. These are called as screening tests. Now the screening test tells you whether you are at higher risk or not. And the diagnostic tests are a definitive test which tells us whether you have an abnormal baby or not. Now, we can't do these diagnostic tests for everyone. Why? Because the diagnostic tests, like the Corian Willis sampling, which is done more commonly towards the end of first trimester, and amniotic fluid sampling, we call it amniocentesis, can be done a little later. These tests gives us samples from the fetus, that is, or the, uh, the implantation tissue, that is, the gestational tissue and the chorionic villus tissue and we send it for checking and these gives us definitive report whether they are genetically abnormal or not but we can't subject the whole population for these tests so who are the ones who should be subjected for these invasive procedures is decided by the screening tests now let me tell you about these screening tests a little more so the best screening test available which is the most sensitive and the most accurate for diagnosing down syndrome is called the non-invasive prenatal screening test or NIPS or it was earlier called NIPT whatever. Now what do they do? They check for cell-free DNA in circulation in the mother's body. So they look for fetal cell-free DNA which is circulating in the mother's blood and which is picked up and this is actually checked by next gen uh, NGS or next genome sequencing, next generation sequencing and we try to figure out whether this woman is at higher risk of having that baby with abnormal set of chromosomes, that is the trisomy 21. They also check for some other chromosomes also along with that, but this is the most important thing that we're talking at the moment. This is the most accurate screening test available to us at the moment. But definitely it's a little more elaborate and a little more costly than the regular screening test, which is more commonly used across the globe. And that is the serological blood test, that is the double marker or in the triple or quadruple marker. 
And let me tell you what these serological tests. So when a woman walks into a clinic at say around 10 weeks or 11 weeks, we offer them a double marker screening test. And it is a first trimester screening where a simple blood test is taken and we look for two parameters, PAP A placental protein and HCG titers. Along with that, some data from the history of the woman is taken and this is fed into the software and this gives us a predictive risk. If we combine the serological investigation results and the history that we have taken along with a biophysical exam, there is a sonography. We call it an early nuchal scan or early anomaly scan or early scan which is done at 11 to 13 weeks, 6 days. So this scan will tell us if they have a higher risk of having such kind of abnormality besides the many other structural defects which can be picked up at the time of scan. One of the things that we look for is the nuchal thickness and if the nuchal translucency is more or if the nasal bone is not visualized, is absent and if the levels are not up to mark, it gives us higher risk prediction and that's how we come to know whether this patient requires further diagnostic test in the form of codandalus or amniocentesis. This is done in the first trimester, hence it is called as first trimester screening. But if we miss this window for some reason, then this next option is a second trimester screening, which is either a triple and better still a quadruple test. A triple test takes into consideration again the same beta HCG which is done here, unconjugated estriol and alpha fetoprotein. These are the three things that we are checking. Along with that, if we add on another parameter that is inhibit, it is called as a quadruple testing, which is definitely more sensitive or more predictive than a triple marker test. And this is done towards the end of fourth month. And that is the time when we are able to check it and we can predict whether the woman is having that risk or not. There are another jargons which doctors use and the lab use, which are called as combined tests, sequential screening, or you know, assembly integrated screening, where we combine the results of these tests and you know, and we use the software to give you the results. Sometimes we combine both of them, the first trimester screening test and the second trimester, and we integrate it together and then give a predictive risk, and that's called as an integrated screening test, and so on and so forth. But to summarize the whole thing, instead of putting your brain into this whole jargon, just understand in simple words that you may have some tests available to you in the form of screening tests, which will tell us whether the pregnant woman is at higher risk of Down syndrome or not. And if she is having that, she can easily and surely undergo a diagnostic test in the form of amniocentesis or codendulus if it is early. But if the woman is at high risk, meaning if she had had a previous history of baby having a Down syndrome, or if the woman is at high risk who has immediate family member who has had, had such kind of history or a bad obstetric history, and if her age is more than 35, especially higher the age, all these factors tell us that she may be at a little more risk. So it makes sense to do a very early NIPS and have the best available test, which will tell us if there is a risk for uh, Downs in the baby and then thereby we can do the further tests uh, of diagnosis. Another small note, which I will tell in the end is this, that there are a lot of investigations that can be done on the cells, which we retrieve when we do an amniocentesis or core amnesis. One of the things which I will tell you is that now is the era and the recommendation that if there is any abnormality or abnormal things seen on the sonography, which is a norm now, every pregnant woman undergoes a sonography, and if there is any structural defect which is picked up, please request for a chromosomal microarray to identify whether it is associated from some genetic mutation or abnormality, which can be actually picked up during the course of pregnancy and which will be able to tell you what are the future prognostic factors or risks or what is the future issues that we may have to deal with. If you're very sure that it's just a aneuploidy or something, only then a simple karyotyping, which is the standard thing which has been done from over the years can be done. Otherwise, choose to go for a microarray testing, which is going to give you a little more information than the regular, right? So in, to summarize, there are sets of investigations which are done as screening tests to find out whether you're at high risk and the diagnostic test which will tell you whether you're definitely having these problems or not. Once we collect the sample, they can be subjected to some further investigations, whether it is a karyotyping or whether it is a quick immediate report like FISH, whether it is a chromosomal microarray and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Discussing at length about your family history for any abnormal genetic findings or any abnormal syndrome which you have seen in your family or your immediate relatives makes good sense which will help you to rule out such kind of problems in your coming baby. Thank you very much.